Hi, I'm Kevin Moss. I look after corporate responsibility for BT in North America. I've been thinking a lot about how IT and communications technologies can help us to reduce our impact on the environment. So I'm here with one of our partners, a conferencing partner, Polycom, and we're going to take a look at an example of products and services in the IT and comm space that can help companies do exactly that. Let's go take a look at an example of it and see how it looks in practice. I'm here with David Colbert of Polycom who was kind enough to spend some time talking with me about telepresence and video conferencing. So David, um, at BT we found that for ourselves and for our customers one of the biggest benefits of, vid of, of immersive um, video conferencing is that we don't need to travel. We, we've actually saved about 30,000 tonnes of carbon emissions a year which is a fairly significant proportion of our footprint. Our, your customers seeing a similar sort of thing? Absolutely. Uh, customers are investing in video conferencing for a number of reasons, and one of those specific reasons being the, the green initiative, because video conferencing and telepresence is absolutely a, a, a green initiative. The quality is just streets ahead of what we used to see and what we used to talk about. I mean, I, I can make eye contact with you, your life size, the style of the furniture, it feels like you're sitting at the same table. In fact, I want to sort of offer you a glass of water and pour it out for you. Is, is it, when's this going to be affordable for everybody? Because at the moment, right, it's a sort of a C-suite thing. Kevin, thank you very much for the water. And, and actually, the, these products and solutions are available to, to anyone. We have, um, we have products and solutions for everything from a, a mobile application, like a, a pad, all the way to immersive telepresence rooms. We've done a study with um, an organization called Jesse and the Climate Group called Smart 2020 where we've looked at all the different ways that companies can reduce energy using IT and, and communications and compared that to the burden of the energy they use and overall the burden on society of all of IT and communications is about two to three percent of carbon emissions but the opportunity to reduce emissions is about 15% of global carbon emissions by 2020.